Coach Thomas, your team unfortunately falling into close one to Morgantown, 10 to six, a very defensive battle. What are your overall thoughts on the game? Yeah, you know, uh, proud of the kids for, for you know, going against a good team, for battling against a good team, uh, for playing tough. You know, so that, that's that's the positive that you take away is just, you know, we, we fought to the end and, and, and we played our hearts out. But, you know, at the same time, um, you know, you, you, you want to win those close games. And, and, you know, when you don't win those close games, you feel like there's a little bit more you could have done. So, um, you know, we, we, we got to, you know, you, you don't win like that. You got to keep working. Uh, you got to kind of kind of get back to the grind and get back in the lab and, and put some things together and fix some of the mistakes. When you look back on that game, what specifically do you think you guys could have done better to get the win? Uh, I mean, red zone efficiency, definitely. Did you were, were you guys able to watch the game? No, we were at the Martinsburg game. Oh, man. Oh, man. You missed a, yeah, missed a good one, man. Um, yeah, you get, you get in the red zone three times. Um, and you score six points in the game. You know that we we have to we have to finish those drives. Uh, you got to finish those drives. You got to put points on the board in those situations. So um, you know, and I think that pretty much sums up the the entire key to the game. You know, you got to make those plays in those crucial moments, and we let them win those. Uh, we let them win those important plays. Coach, your team now sits at 2-1 and one and get to go into EPAC play this coming week against Spring Mills. From the start of the offseason up until this point, what have you really seen your team progress in that you've liked? Um, you know, I, I think I think we continue to come together as a team. I think our kids are mentally tough. You know, our kids, you know, we, we've shown, we've, we've played three, honestly, we've played three really tight ball games so far. Uh, you know, then they're, you know, each one has been the biggest margin of victory has been 10 points. So, you know, you got a 10 point win, a, a seven point win, and then a four point loss. So, you know, I like the fact that we've been in some tight, difficult games, and I like our kids' mindset through those times. Coach Spring Mills, a team that has uh, gotten better each of the last few seasons and seems to be now on a point where they've kind of arrived as one of the better teams around here. And uh, they were competitive with Jefferson in week one. Obviously, you know, this game could mean a lot for you guys when it comes to the final EPAC standings and uh, playoff standings as well. Yeah, um, you know, Spring Mills is a really good team. Uh, they do a really good job, uh, you know, executing uh, the things that they want to do. They're, they're really good offensively. They got a lot of skill guys. They got a lot of playmakers. Uh, defensively, they pin their ears back and get after you. Um, special teams are really good. Their, their special teams units are, are, are really good. So um, it's going to put a lot of pressure on us uh, that we got to come out and play really well. Um, you know, I think both sides will be motivated anytime you get a conference game. That uh, you know, you, you, you want to beat those area teams, uh, you know, and, and that's that. I don't mean that in a negative way. It's just that the kids, the kids from all the schools, they know each other. Those are their friends. Um, you know, those are the guys they grew up with. So you know, anytime you get in those games, you know, you definitely want to win your conference game. But at the same point, um, you know, we got our work cut out for us. They're a really good football team. What is your team's focus going to be on this week in preparation for the game? We got to clean up some of our mistakes. You know, some of the things that, that we that failed us a little bit at Morgantown. You know, if we make those same mistakes again this week, then um, you know we, we won't find ourselves out in the positive end. So, you know, we we gotta we gotta. Um, whenever you lose a game, I think that kind of magnifies your problems a little bit, makes you look at those problems. Uh, but then, you know, at the same point, you have to be smart enough where you can uh, see those problems, address those problems, and then fix those problems. So we gotta we gotta fix some of the things that we're struggling with a little bit right now. Coach, it seemed like uh, week one, your offense was really clicking. Last two weeks, it's been a little bit tough. You mentioned the red zone issues. Uh, what do you think you guys need to do better offensively to keep the scoring at a high rate and not have those drives stall out? I think sometimes it's just the, uh, the the focus on attention to detail. You know, uh, there, there's a lot of times against Morgantown that um, nine or ten guys do the right thing, and the one guy that messes up happens to be, you know, where the play's not executed. And it's like, man, look if we get that one block, or look if we, you know, break that route off at the yardage that we should break it off. And it's just, you know, little details like that. If you want to be a championship level team, which you know that that's what we that's what we strive to, to be. Um, you know, we're you know we, we've been we've been lucky as a first 
program that we've been uh, pretty much year in and year out, you know, a playoff team. We've been complete, complete, complete in the playoffs, but a lot of it's just the, you know, you, you don't just roll the ball out and play street ball, not at the varsity football level. You have to, you have to pay attention to detail and do things right. So, um, you know, it, it's not that we're, it's not that we're awful. It's not that we're doing bad, but, uh, you know, at the same point, if you're going to put together a 12 play drive, then you've got to be focused for those 12 plays and you got to be able to punch them in to finish it. You have one little, you know, one little lapse of judgment and, you know, you, you have a first down play that instead of getting four yards and sitting at a second and six, you lose three yards and you're second and setting at a second and 13. That's a really huge deal. So, you know, we, we have to just pay attention to detail on every little play that we do. All righty, Coach Thomas, before we let you go, last week you kind of gave us a little homework, told us to try to figure out a nickname for your team, and we, we came up with a list and wanted to get your thoughts on them. <laughs> well, after Friday night, it's the opposite because we lost the close game. But all right, but, but, okay, okay give, you're right, give it to me. What we got? So we got the apprehensive Appleman, the anxiety Appleman, the Cardi Ackleman, last minute muscleman moxie muscleman or crunch time mm, those are all good ones i like crunch time um i like last well, last minute there's one like last minute yeah there was, was La- last minute muscleman i like that one i like i like that one man i i I don't know. I, I don't know. We felt like Listen. crunch time could be more of like a team slogan, kind of like fleet, like yeah. Muscleman Appleman. Yeah. It's crunch time. I like that. I, I, I like those. Those are those are pretty good. Man, you guys, you guys did. You guys did your homework, and I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I can pick one. We'll let the fans decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Whatever vote sticks. On vote on it. I like it. I like it. All right, Coach Thomas, appreciate the time and good luck against Spring Mills this week. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate all you do. Thank you.